Are you recording? Okay, so warm up. Decide whether the polygon is convex or concave. So question number one here, Dylan. Concave. How do you know? Yep, concave, it hits more than four times. Or it hits more than twice, so we say concave. Okay, uh, so hey, somebody else, can you raise your hand to tell me about the second one, Mario? Convex. It's convex, how do you know? So no matter how I draw the line, it's only going to hit twice, so we know it's convex. Okay, so I'm going to clear the slide. We're going to go. Okay, so we are on 8.2 angles and polygons, and our objective is to be able to calculate the interior angles of a polygon. So the polygon interior angles theorem is the sum of the interior angles of a convex polygon is going to be the number of sides minus 2 times 180. So n is the number of sides. So we've learned about several polygons. What are our two polygons we've learned about that are main? We've learned about triangles. How many sides do triangles have? Three. three sides, right? So using this, we know that 3 minus 2 times 180 is going to give us 1 times 180, which is 180. What's the sum of the interior area of a triangle? We've learned this before. It is 180. What's the other one we have memorized? For a quadrilateral, right? Close. Nope, that's a special right triangle. So what is our interior of a quadrilateral? It's 360, and we can prove that by using, we know we have a quadrilateral. I'm just going to use a um, parallelogram shape. It has four sides, and you know that that is 4 minus 2 times 180, which gives you 2 times 180, which is 360, which we already have memorized. Your examples here is to find the sum of the measure of the interior angles of a convex polygon. Step one, we have to add our sides. So we're going to start over here with you guys. How many sides does question one have? So we have, yep, one, two, three, four, five. Stephen told us it's five. So then we're going to create that equation. I'm going to write it up here. It's n minus 2 times 180. So you end up with 5 minus 2 times 180. So what is 5 minus 2? 3 times 180, this group over here. Five hundred and forty. Okay, so five hundred and forty degrees. Okay, over here we're in the middle group now. Gryffindor. So how many sides does example two have? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're correct. So then you have seven minus two equals one hundred and eighty. Seven minus two is. Wait, wait. You said nine hundred. Wait, what? No, it's five. I know, but the answer. The answer is 900. Oh, yeah, you guys are going a little faster than me, but I appreciate your teamwork. So you had the seven sides. You plugged it in. Seven minus two is five times times 180 gives you 900. Okay, we are now here at Ravenclaw. So how many sides does your shape have? Eight. Yep, we have eight. Okay, so you have eight minus two, which is? Six. Times 180, so we have six times 180. 1,080 1, degrees. For these, you want to find the missing angle A. So first step, you have to find the sum of the interior angles, and then you have to solve for that angle A. So how many sides does our first one have? Do you get your group? Four. Four. What do we know the sum of the interior angles of a poly nope, quadrilateral is? 360. 360. You don't even have to do the math because we already have it memorized. So we know that's the measure of angle A plus 68 plus 72 plus 74. Combine the angles that we know. What did you get here? Oh, 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 I wrote 72. I apologize. Let's try it again. 74. 74. Thanks, guys. Okay, so what do you get when you put those in? So we're over here at your group. What did you get? 260? 16. 216. 216. Combine like terms, which are the interior angle degrees. So we're going to subtract the 216 over. Subtract 216 over. What is the measure of angle A? 144. 144 degrees. Okay, we are now back all the way over here. So group for the Slytherin. Example 5. How many sides does this figure have? We have 5. So we have to calculate that sum. So you have 5 minus 2 times 180. 5 minus 2 is? 
times 180? 540, okay. 540 degrees. We're going to do 540 equals measure of angle A plus our remaining angles, 104 plus 94 plus 114 plus 108. Combine our angles that we actually know. You end up with 540 equals measure of angle A plus, what did you get when you combine those? 420. 420. 420. We're going to subtract 420 to the other side. So what did you get? 120. So the measure of angle A is 120. Okay. Now we are back here with the Gryffindor group. So you want me to do 360 if you only have four sides, right? Mm -hmm. So this one we have to calculate the number of sides. So you have one, two, three, four, yep, five, six. I'm going to do it above to ensure I have enough space since I have this little thing down here. So you have 6 minus 2 times 180, which gives me 4 times 180, which is how much? 720. Yep, it's your turn. So you now have 720 equals the measure of angle A plus 146. So 146 plus 135 plus 90 plus 160 plus 124. You end up with 720 degrees plus the measure of angle A plus, what'd you get when you added all those angles together? 1,320. I did not get anything that large. I got 655 as well. So, we're going to subtract, I think you did, but that's okay, at least you know you're here. Subtract 655. I'm going to move my answer up so that you guys can see it in a different color because I'm running out of space. So, what is 720 minus 655? 65 degrees. So, the measure of angle A equals 65 degrees. So, exterior polygon angle theorem, the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon is 360. So the example they gave you here is angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 is going to equal 360. Okay, so now we're finding the value of x and we're using the exterior angles. So we got to add them up. So we want to add x plus 100 plus 30 plus x plus 130. And what did our theorem just tell you that equals? 360. So we're going to combine our like terms. So, yep, you get 2x. What's next? <laughs> equals 260. Okay, guys, give her a second finish solving it. We're going to subtract over our 260. 2x equals 100. Yeah. <laughs> you divide by 2. So divide by 2. <laughs> x equals? Now nah, it's 50. Okay. So we know x equals 50. Over here, we are now at your group. So we have to set this up. You have 100 plus 110 plus 80 plus x equals how much? How much is the sum of the exterior? 360. 360. Okay, and then you already did this part. What'd you get? <laughs> 290 plus x equals 360. Subtract over our 290. Yep, x equals 70. Nice teamwork there. I'll make that 7 look more 77. There we go. So our first step is to do what? So, x plus x. Hey, guys, let's let him walk us through it. x plus x plus. Okay, finish it up. Okay, so Bree's answering it now. What's the sum equal to? 360. Okay, so you end up with 2x plus. What are all these angles add up to? 200 equals 360. So, nice job, both of you.
Okay. And then our last one. You ready? No. So, what are our exterior angles? What's plus 90. So notice right here, because that side's right angle knows this side is also a right angle. Equals how much? 360. Combine your angle or your axis, which gives you. Okay, subtract over your 94. 14x equals. Two sixty six divide by fourteen. X equals nineteen. 19.